Hey, what's up everyone? Kane here with XBLA fans, and we are giving you a super special double week of five games like. Mostly because this really should be labeled 10 games like Gone Home, but we kind of wanted to split that into two videos, and we really hope you enjoy them, even if our breakdown is slightly arbitrary. I mean, at the end of the day, these are just really good games. Uh, and... I'm going to highlight Firewatch in this video, and Firewatch was genuinely magical for me. The game captivated me in ways that most video games seldom reach. The writing was excellent, the voice acting was incredible, the game looks absolutely gorgeous. And I had to know what happened, and it kept pushing me forward. Firewatch tells the tale of Henry, seeking to escape his past in the solitude of the Wyoming wilderness. Uh, he grows close to his supervisor, Delilah. It's the only human contact he has, it's kind of natural. The game is really on a, it, it's just really real on an emotionally messy level. Uh, the discussions between these two characters are of a high enough quality that honestly they could stand alone as a radio play. It's incredibly well voice acted and incredibly well written. As players explore the wilderness, more crazy things begin to happen. Henry's left questioning his decisions, left relying on Delilah. It's honestly a truly wonderful story and just storytelling experience. Uh, I've intentionally only used footage from the game's open exploration mode setting to just kind of avoid spoilers with this one because this game really does need to be experienced if you enjoy well-crafted narratives. Uh, Virginia takes cinematography to a new level for a video game. With clear inspiration from David Lynch and the X-Files, Virginia tells a highly stylized tale in a small town. Uh, the game doesn't need words to present a moving story. While the game may be questioned by some for even being able to be called a game, uh, Virginia is well worth the two hours it will take to play. Uh, players largely move through an almost like dreamlike sequences, and there is minimal gameplay. But to be fair, it is at times largely just hitting A to keep moving the story forward, but that doesn't detract from the game at all. Uh, the story follows two FBI agents who are investigating the disappearance of a young boy, but it goes beyond just your typical procedural show. Relationships are tested, and there's a little bit of supernatural at play. Uh, Virginia is well worth your time if you're looking for a unique quality narrative. Uh, Layers of Fear is the best horror experience I've played on Xbox. It tells the story of a twisted painter looking to create his greatest creation yet. Uh, the game for focuses on exploring his dark and disturbed home. Uh, quickly things take a turn from the macabre. You begin to learn about his past to see his hallucinations and genuinely frightening mind. Uh, the game is full of wonderfully designed sequences and the occasional jump scare, but at the same time, uh, the voice acting and overall story developing around you become just as engrossing. Uh, you really need to see his magnum opus for yourself. Now, Knee Deep is flat out weird. Everything about this game is just a little bit different. From the uh, option to shout nonsense phrases for responses to the literal stage that's evolving as a setting, uh, the tale is told in three acts and focuses on three different characters. Uh, the generic plot is a little bit along the lines of an actor's been hung and you gotta figure out why he was murdered in this small rural town uh, in the swamp. I mean, the story becomes pretty engaging, but honestly, it's the visual elements from the stage mechanic that truly set this apart as something different. Oh, Oxenfree captures the feel of a unique period um, in adolescence with genuinely interesting dialogue. I'd feel remiss if I didn't steal the description used by one of my coworkers. As Christine puts it, imagine if Donnie Darko and Stranger Things hooked up with Mean Girls. Uh, the art style is vivid and unique, and the game pushes for a deep, story-driven experience without cutscenes or anything to break the flow of the game. Alex and her friends are exploring Edwards Island when all of a sudden these seemingly supernatural events occur, and Alex and her friends explore to figure out what exactly is going on. The way the game does text bubbles is clever, but it's really the dialogue itself that's inside them that really shines. Now, Late Shift brings back FMV video to the forefront. Uh, it, it's a truly cinematic movie that players have control over. Forced into a brutal London heist, players will choose their own path and create their own adventure. It's a genuinely interesting story that really does feature some quality set pieces and acting. 
Uh, the production values are comparable to about what you'd see on a Netflix show. And it's solidly story-driven experience, pushing an old genre forward. It's cool to see this, uh, this just kind of evolve. We hope you enjoyed these five games like Firewatch. And we have five games like Edith Finch that's going to be going up today as well. And we highly suggest checking those out. Uh, I focused a little bit more on just storytelling elements and just unique ways to tell a story in this one. Uh, Edith Finch is going to focus a little bit more on some of the cool gameplay mechanics that have been used to also help push the story forward. So that's kind of the arbitrary breakdown I used for these. Like I said, honestly, this probably could be labeled 10 games like Gone Home. Um, and we hope you really do enjoy these. Uh, if you enjoyed this video, please do share it. Please do like and subscribe. It helps us out a ton. Uh, we'd really like to keep telling you guys about cool indie games you might have missed. And we think this is a really cool way for us to do that. And hopefully it'll help people who have played some of these bigger name games to come check out some of these more unique niche games. Not that, you know, something like Oxenfree has not been heard of before. But you know what I mean. <laughs> Anyways, thank you guys so much. We really do appreciate it. And later.